So SIPA went to Creative Carbon Scotland to um, find an artist to help them run a, a public engagement, a community engagement project um, using creativity to try to revamp, refresh or take a new look at the way that SIPA did public engagement. Um, Creative Carbon Scotland, who I'd worked with a few times before on a few different bits and pieces, came to me um, and we started to, to, to put this project together. And we identified that we were going to try to run creative um, sessions with uh, children and adults that would raise levels of awareness of flood preparedness and flood, um, just flood, flood awareness more generally and, and why they happen and how they happen and the measures that are in place to alleviate any problems, etc. SIPA helps Scotland prepare more powerfully for future increased flooding and in order to do this and to do this well we need to be able to understand how we communicate and engage with communities in a way that's meaningful and, uh, and also relevant to them. My role within Creative Carbon Scotland is uh, the cultural producer. I'm involved in a number of different projects which are about bringing together creative practitioners and artists with those working directly on climate change or sustainability related issues. So in this project we were commissioned by SIPA to be an active uh, collaborator in the project. Um, so I've been very much involved from the start and, and throughout and also to help identify an artist who could bring their different uh, skills and ways of thinking to uh, help shape the engagement process that we went through. We, we decided to work with Fernie Lee Primary School partially because of where they're located so, so they're very aware of that area and um, we were building upon previous engagement that the schools already had with the council, with SIPA colleagues already, and with the decatchment partnership. So the first thing that we did was, or that I did, was design some activity with the children that would be based around um, a walk that I had done with the city council's flooding officer, and we would walk the whole section of the burn, which took about an hour in total, and we would um, sing a song which I had created in advance. And so I would stand at a particular uh, point along the burn, I would explain in my own terms and words what it was that had been explained to me by the flooding officer, and then I would sing with the children I would teach them a verse of the song and I would teach them the chorus and we would, we would sing, sing the chorus and the idea behind it all was that I would use song to kind of reinforce this message, use a kind of creative, um, use some creative engagement. The second part of the activity was in the, in the classroom so what we did was we designed together uh, a memory song. Um, so then the two songs, the song that was learned on the walk and the song that the children had written uh, together with me were then laid over the top of a soundscape. And the idea was that we would reconstruct the sound of the walk. So together as a class, we, we, we put together this soundscape that sat underneath both of the songs. From the beginning, I was really interested in both the process and the kind of product of the sessions. So for me, the process of doing the walk, of singing outside and, uh, and learning something in quite a, a, an odd way uh, for the children, um, uh, uh, and, the, and the process of creating a memory song and singing and performing and creating a, um, a soundscape, uh, uh, and, and the ways in which we did that, I, I hope that the process of doing these things was, was valuable to the children, and I hope that they retained the information in, dif uh, you know, possibly different parts of their brain or, or found new ways into this, this uh, complex information through creativity. One of the things that I found quite interesting and quite different to what SIPA would normally do is, is how Simon was keen to, to go and speak to the groups that before we actually did the engagement work. So he wanted to find out from them what their interests were, how much they knew about flooding, how much they knew about the Den Burn, and he used that information when he was creating his workshops. So that helped to make sure that what we were doing was relevant to the, to the individuals participating in the, in the workshops and hopefully it helped to make it more engaging um, as a result. I really hope that the, the, the two songs that we created live on in the school, uh, the school kind of folklore or the school, school oral tradition. I hope maybe they're taken up in, by, in the assembly or maybe the, the teacher or the teachers 
uh, maybe do projects about the Denburn in the future and continue to use the song because I like the idea of depositing in a community uh, something created by children in the community about this really complex and important issue but something that's really digestible and creative and just provides again this new way into to this information.